on the screen. You see sort of stripes, a stripe on the screen where you get lots of electrons and then a stripe where you get very few or none. And then another stripe where you get lots and then a stripe where you get very few or none. And then another stripe and then very few or none. So you get this stripey pattern. That pattern is exactly the same pattern that you would get if you sent waves through the slits. Let's say water waves, any kind of waves. Uh, then it's easy to understand because what's happening then, and this follows, physicists knew this back in the 1700s, right? Is that you can consider each slit as, as a source of new waves. And the waves come out and waves have the property that they can interfere with each other. So you can get the peak of one wave arriving at the screen from one slit and a trough of a wave arriving at the screen from another slit. And if everything's lined up correctly, the peak and the trough cancel out and you get nothing.